What is going on guys? It is Mr. Seven here, back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Except today it's a little bit different. All my previous episodes of Ark Survival Evolved have been on the uh, server that I rented or owned or whatever you want to say. And they were all pretty much single player, like there was no players that would come at me. And this and future episodes are different in that this is a PvP server. And I'm not going to disclose the information of the server because A, it's really full. Like it's already got almost max capacity. And B, I don't want anyone who plays on here to really have an unfair advantage because they watch my videos. Now that being said, if you play Ark Survival Evolved, enjoy PvP and perhaps want to play with me, maybe we can arrange that like just leave a comment down below and, and we can talk about it but as far as i know right now i haven't got any comments for anyone saying that they play the game so for now we're just gonna leave that quiet and not not give out the server information but we are also not on the original arc map as you can see, it's a lot different. There's a floating island over there, which is a little bit different. This is the uh, Valhalla, or Valhalla mod. It's a completely different map. As you can see, I don't even have it all uncovered yet. But it is, I think, three times bigger than the regular arc map. And it's, it's really cool. It, it has some problems. I don't think it's finished yet. But it's really cool and fun. And we are on the back of this Quetzal here. Named Mrs. Claus, apparently. I didn't tame it. It's not my Quetzal. It's one of my tribe mates. But it is a level 81. So that's pretty good. Decent stats. And right now I'm on the lookout for... A T-Rex. A high level T-Rex. Max level if I can find it. But there's a drop over there. This... Uh, map pack or this server I guess has the better beacons mod on it which just makes ridiculously overpowered items in the beacons and usually it's blueprints so it still costs you a lot to craft them so I try to hit all the purple or higher drops that I can find sometimes blue are good too but definitely purple or higher so we're gonna try to snag this one before it disappears while also keeping our eye out for other players because again it's PvP and people fight over these things alright and land I don't know what's in the area but we gotta be quick yeah just spark powder junk so it's hit and miss but we'll take the spark powder anyway. So what is... Oh, it's one of those little... Gallimimus things. Gallimimus, whatever. Getting chased by this raptor. That I didn't get. Alright, so we're back on the hunt for a high level T-Rex. But this uh, map pack has pretty much everything the original arc does. Or the original arc map. The only thing I haven't seen is like a cave, like a real cave, you know, full of scorpions and titan boas and everything like that. But it has swamps and it has snow. And I haven't seen any dinos that it doesn't have yet. I'm also on the lookout for a pteranodon. I wouldn't mind getting a high level one to help me get those drops faster. Get it like a level 100 plus and just max out its movement speed. But as you can see uh, directly ahead of me, that's, I believe, the swamp biome. So it has that. So there's tons of stuff in there. Like the dung beetles and everything. What level are you? 32. Psh, get out of here. You ain't worth it. So yeah, as I was saying, this is going to be where my Ark Survival of All series is played from now on. And I've kind of committed to that because I uh, stopped the other server. I, I canceled it. Because, uh, honestly, playing by yourself isn't really... Like, there's no challenge to it. Eventually, you get some of the strongest dinos, and then you're untouchable. Because the only thing that's threatening you is other dinos. 
so now we are threatened by other players which is interesting so we have six people in our tribe right now there's me and there's Aleth which was the person I played um, the aisle with that one time and I played survival of the fittest with uh, Blackbeard is a friend of mine and a streamer and I don't at this time have his stream information but I will get it uh, and you will probably do some videos with him because he's he's a cool guy uh, my buddy leg day who actually when I used to run a server like an actual PvP server uh, he ran it with me he was the other admin so he's a good friend of mine and then oh, stop opening that uh, Blake Ryan is just the guy we met in here and bro is Aleth's uh, boyfriend I yeah boyfriend I think or fiance I don't remember I don't remember but anyway so yeah we have a tribe of six right now I think me and Aleth are the most active ones legs plays a lot and Blackbeard's just kind of doing his own thing for now uh, but the tribe was started by me and Aleth look some bases over here uh oh the boxes We got T Rex. Only level 87. Hello, are you? 32. Again with you? I thought I told you to get out of here. You gotta be careful flying over people's bases because they could have turrets. But the server opened, I believe, on the 24th of January, so it's relatively new. Nobody's incredibly advanced uh, past anybody else. Some people, obviously, if they have larger tribes. Oh, I didn't even see what level that was. Oh, but if they have larger tribes, obviously they advance faster because they have more people doing more things. And we're doing okay. Hopefully, in this video, we'll get a chance to go back to the base and I can show you guys what's going on with that. There are lots of pteranodons in this area. But they all... Where'd he go? They all seem to be relatively low level. 52? Eh. I don't want a 52. Oh, oh, oh. Please be like 116. Eight. Ugh. Wasted time. Lots of these Gallimimus. I, I want to say it. I want to say the name right. Come here. Oh, it won't even let me see it. Was it a different T Rex? Or was it the same T Rex? Yeah, same one. Oh, well, actually, I could have just spyglassed it, I guess. Gallimimus. Alright, let's put this guy down. Not really interested in having him right now. I don't know what they're good for, other than I believe they're fast and their topor drops like crazy. So they're a pain to tame. But I am going to keep searching for that T Rex. And I will be right back when I find it or something interesting. All right, and we're back, and I have not found a T-Rex, but I did find this. It's another Quetzal. This one's only level 8, but, you know, really, the way I see it, a Quetzal's a Quetzal. So we're going to shoot him, and then we're going to chase him down. You shouldn't take too much to knock out. It's only level 8. But I have narcotics. Enough narcotics should be to tame this thing. The only thing I'm really concerned about are gigas. Because there are a lot of gigas in this map. As far as I've seen. Alright, so we'll get him again. Missed? What? You missed? Yeah. No, I can hit my Quetzal. Yep, I did. All right, you jerk. Get right up alongside him. I'm gonna have to reload my gun again. All right. Get right up alongside him. Lead him a little bit. Shoot him in his face. There he goes. So I'm not sure how these guys tamed this Quetzal, but. This is definitely, like I, like I said in my other series, 
Uh, you get one Quetzal and it's easy to get others, and it's simply for doing exactly this. Like, you can chase down Quetzals with another Quetzal, obviously, they'll be about the same speed. Oh, hello, lag. How about you reload? Thank you. Don't go down in the water, man. That's not cool. Don't even go over the water. Alright, come on. Get back. Reload. Chase him down. This would be a lot easier if I had a second person, but I don't. Come on. Come on. Catch up to him. And... Pop! He did not care about that at all. Can I... yeah, your head's in the way. I also think this is a male. And what I have here is a female. Yep. So we'll get Quetzal eggs. Uh, they have a set of rules in the server. One of them being uh, don't raid people into the ground. Like, don't destroy their bases. And another one being is that you're allowed to have passive dino pens. And that is, if you designate a pen as a passive dino pen, no one's allowed to kill those dinos. Like, they're on off-limits kind of thing. Come on. We're in such a bad spot, man. Why don't you just not be in the water for a while? Fly over to those mountains. No. Over the water. You have to try to, like, lure him. No, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Oh, that lag again. Yeah, now you're going the right way. Now you're getting it. Come on. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. <laughs> Since I set out to tame a Rex actually brought a bunch of wood fence foundations and thatch walls with me so I could build a little enclosure around it after I knocked it out. So hopefully that'll work for this guy too. Get on. It would really suck if he fell down in the forest. Like I would love for him to just go over one of these bare mountain tops. We could just get a nice easy area. I hit him, come on. Where's your hitbox, bruh? He's running. I don't know if I'd be better off using the journeyman crossbow and the trank darts or not. Come on. Pass out. You look sleepy. It's actually got a really cool color to him. I don't know if you guys can really see. I know it's really dark. But he's like red and white and a little bit of black. Would you just sleep already? This is the perfect area. No, 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 no. He's gonna pass out in the forest. Oh yes, keep going that way. Keep going that way. Hold still. How did I not hit him? I don't know about these hit boxes, man, and these quetzals. This is really weird. He's a big dinosaur. Bird. That was a headshot. I don't know in what world it wasn't. There we go. Run! He's persistent for a level 8. I'll tell you that. He does not want to go to sleep. Alright, here. Oh, I missed. That time I definitely missed. Alright, let's. Uh. That time I didn't. I switched to the crossbow. Where are you going? Yeah, I saw the arrow miss that time. Come on, man. Still board drops way too fast to not be hitting him. 
And hit. I saw the blood. That was a hit. Chase him down, Mrs. Claus. That's your Santa, right there. I'm still baffled. It's only level 8. You should be sleeping. You should be a long since sleeping. And you're burning up a lot of time in my video here, buddy. Alright, I'll tell you guys what. I'm gonna get him knocked out and I'll be right back. Hopefully, anyway. I'll be right back when something happens. Alright, and we're back. We got the level 8 Quetzal knocked out. But, oh man, there's a level 32 Giga right there. And that guy is a friend of ours. Uh, he's going to try to lure it away for us. I don't know how well that's going to go. Let's take a look real quick. His Topor's dropping pretty fast. Um, I feel bad if he dies and loses that, uh, that Argent. Looks like he got it away. Oh no, not really, but kind of. Alright, let's, let's just go ahead and build our little wall here. We're gonna keep our guy protected. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh no. What is it? 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 Get on. Get on the Quetzal. What are you doing? What is chasing that? Alright, whatever. So I'm going to get this wall built. I'm going to get this Quetzal tamed. We're actually running out of time for this video. So I... No, I did just did a cut. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to play out. I will bring you guys back when either... The, for the end of the video, when either the Quetzal is tamed or that big jerk right there kills it and us. <laughs> all right and we're back and the quetzal as you can see right here is almost completely done we've done almost nothing but prime i didn't think i was going to get enough so i just threw all the meat i had on him that giga got lured away i guess it never came back but i'm pretty sure it's just down the hill there and i kind of feel bad because those other guys were also taming the quetzal and the giga did kill theirs so, like, I don't know, they were trying to help me out, and it cost them a Quetzal, and I really appreciate it. If you guys ever see this video, just know that I do appreciate it, and I feel super bad about what happened. I can't... I think he'll tame out. I don't think he needs more narcotic. Let's see how much this bite does, if it finishes him off or not. Oh, I can show you this real quick. I have an Ascendant Metal Pick. That's kind of a shared thing. And we have a blueprint for Ascended Pike. So we have those things. Which is really cool. How much do you do? Oh, one more bite. I think he'll be okay on Torbor. So we're going to let him do his thing. I kind of want to start tearing down the wall now. I am watching out for that Giga. Right, start breaking it down. not interested in keeping the mats so I'm just popping the foundations off come on give me the foundation and that's a wall give me the foundation there it is I have to be ever vigilant for that giga just pop up here once in a while and take a look let's see him some food and water. Get out of the way. Oh, all glitchy. So this episode might run a little bit long just because we're waiting. But, hmm. At least drop ten more food and he's tamed. And I think we're going to name him Mr. Claus. Just to... Just to match. 
don't know why I'm so concerned about busting these down. Somebody will, or it won't get busted down. I don't know. I feel like it's the right thing to do, so I do it. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Mr. Claus. I don't think that's the proper way to spell Claus, but that's how they spelled it, so I'm going to spell this one the same way. So let's get him out of here, because it is not safe here. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me a like, as always. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This has been Mr. Seven. Later, guys. Bye.